Company. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word this morning. We're going to talk a little bit about the critical character of faith. Faith is so important. I've said it many times in the past over the years that everything in the Christian life revolves around faith. And faith really is, as the Bible says, the element that causes us to either be able to please God or not. Hebrews eleven six says, we cannot please God without faith. We cannot, it's impossible to please him. And God just wants us to trust him and live by faith so much. And, and most people sense this. They understand that, that there's so much that faith is reliant upon, but they don't really understand necessarily what faith is and how exclusive it is of everything else because so many imagine that they're going to have a relationship with God because they have faith plus works. And the Bible says that you can't mix those two. It's either faith or works, and it can't be both because if it's faith and it's not of works, otherwise uh, faith is no more faith. And if it's of works and it's not of faith, otherwise work is no more work, Romans chapter 11 says. And you cannot mix those two elements. But I want us to consider something particular about faith in our culture today, in our world today, that's very relevant to us. You know, Jesus Christ during his personal earthly ministry on a couple of different occasions uh, was approaching his apostles, his disciples, who were out on the Sea of Galilee in the middle of a in the middle of a terrible storm. And one of those examples we find in the Gospel of Mark chapter chapter eight and verse twenty four says, Behold there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep, and his disciples came to and woke came to him and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said to them, Why are ye so fearful, O ye of little faith? And he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And they marveled, What manner of man is this, that even the winds obey him? But, but he said, Why are you so fearful, O ye of little faith? And many times fearfulness will plague us or will come upon us as like a wave, or we'll just feel fearful. And the answer is confidence and trust and faith in the Lord. Another uh, example of this same uh, type of event occurred in the Gospel of Mark chapter 8, where Jesus uh, marveled. He said, um, he perceived, he said unto them in Mark, in uh, Mark chapter 4, why are ye so fearful? Why, how is it that you have no faith? And so he called them people of little faith in one of the accounts. And in the other one, he said, how is it that you have no faith? You just are not putting your confidence in the Lord at all. And that really will make all the difference in how we uh, view our circumstances and how they affect us. If we are thinking Okay, I am a child of God. Are you are you saved? Are you are you for sure that you're saved? That you know Jesus Christ is Savior. If you are, you can say confidently, "I'm a child of God, and I'm in His hands, and I know He's going to care for me and take care of me and meet my needs. So I don't have to be afraid, even when the answer is not forthcoming. Forthcoming, even when it, there's nothing that necessarily changes on the outside, on the external situation, on the the basic elements of the situation that caused us to be fearful to begin with. God hasn't changed and he's faithful. And if we trust him, there's no reason for us to be afraid. It's a matter of no faith or little faith or sometimes untapped faith. We're just not thinking in terms of trusting the Lord. We're thinking in terms of what I can do about this situation. And often the answer is, there's nothing I can do about my situation. And so the Lord wants us to cast all the care upon him. The Bible says, I think it's 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. He wants you to just trust him. And faith has vital character for us in practical 
daily terms because it makes all the difference in the world as to our ability to rest in him or or are continuing to be fearful and to be stressed over circumstances over which we have no control. But there's not a single circumstance that our Heavenly Father cannot have control over. He is able. Just trust him. God bless you today.